What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Digimo ETF Entertainment and welcome back to another Tuesday Tips for Beginner DJ. Another one. Today we're gonna talk about two topics. Yes, it's only two topics, but each topic we're gonna put tips underneath these topics. The first topic we're gonna talk about today, should you accept a song request? Yes or no? Let's find out. Yes, you should accept the song request. Okay, let's talk about now uh, two different type of DJs, right? So we have a club DJ and we have event like a birthday party or wedding or any other private events. Okay, if we talk about club DJ, if you're playing in a busy club, like with a lot of people, you know, and really crowd, I don't think so you should accept any song request because I know 100% that you as a DJ have your um, uh, file for the music selection and you know what you're gonna play next and everything. So you don't wanna someone to come and destroy whatever in your mind or whatever the mood, you know what I mean? And plus the sound usually in the club is different than uh, a private event or wedding it's too loud so you just focus with your music you just focus for you know whatever you play if you are not that busy you know you don't play in a, in a busy club yeah I'll say why not you know if you want to take it you know uh, if they come actually nicely to you and they ask you or they send you a paper or write down a song in a paper or something like that then you will check if the song you know um, can fit with uh, the atmosphere or the mood or not you know what I mean so that's why I say I leave this it's up to you you know usually usually 99% of the club DJ they don't really accept songs from uh, the people they come in the club uh, they only accept the the, the Paris Day song so if someone have a Paris Day they just go to the DJ booth or um, you know whoever playing and you just tell him oh we have someone or my friend or whatever you know they uh, uh, their Paris Day is today so we just want to introduce or say his name or her name and play a nice Paris Day song okay what about if you are not a club DJ what about if you are uh, DJing for event like birthday party or wedding or anything similar like that should you accept a song request or not uh, yes you should accept it you know why it's very 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 important there's people who booked you he they are actually hire you for their event right it's the same thing like a club I know it's like you know they hire you for the club but you know even the club owner they know this they leave this it's up to you if you want to you know accept uh, a song request yes or no you know it's just as long as the people is happy and dancing you know on the dance floor and you keep the mood hyper and you know crazy so that's okay the owner really didn't care in the private event they care actually they want to see you know if you are flexible if you are a nice dj you know some djs they say okay you know um from the beginning you know which is i don't agree with those kind of djs this in the beginning or in the contract or something like that they say i don't accept a song request okay i don't understand why maybe uh because uh, you don't know how to accept a song request. Maybe you don't have enough uh, sources. <clears throat> Sorry, you don't have enough sources to get your music. As a DJ, special for those private events or weddings, uh, you should start from now to learn and teach yourself how to accept the song requests. Spotify or DJ Pool or uh, PP Supreme, PPM Supreme. So those kind of website, I know you have to pay for it, but uh, it will, it's gonna be really helpful, you know, for you if you don't have the song in your library, then you can search it in those websites and just play it live right away. Uh, YouTube, 
everybody have a YouTube, you know, but try to make a YouTube account because if you make a YouTube account or you remember in YouTube, then you don't have those kind of ads. They come in the beginning of the song or in the, between the song because this is very important. You don't want to play a song from YouTube live in front of everybody and then suddenly a commercial will come between. That would be so bad, right? So, um, yeah, those kind of sources, if you want to uh, start from now, you know, uh, check it out, uh, learn and teach yourself, you know, how to play live uh, song requests. Also, people, when they see the DJ, this kind of have, you know, flexibility to accept a song request. Uh, like I said, they really start like the DJ. Uh, they can say, oh, this is a cool DJ. You know what? Uh, he accepts all the song requests we give him. You know, I didn't say all the song requests like they gave you like 40, 50 song requests. No, 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 no. Usually I limited, you know, I make it about 10, 15. Uh, these two ways, sometimes people or DJs, they just leave it open. So whenever anybody come and you want to request a song. So, of course, you have to check it out because you don't want to play, let's say, a hip hop song during uh, a house music, right? So you're playing house now and then someone come and give you a hip hop song. You're going to kill the mood. Yeah, you're gonna tell me they like hip hop or, uh, you know, in the beginning, uh, they request uh, also, or, you know, a hip hop. Yeah, but it's not the right time. So you can take the song, but then you have to wait until you fit it exactly to the mood. You know what I mean? So be careful this mistake. There's a lot of DJs, they do this mistake. So you're playing the house music, you didn't hear the music request, you know, it came to you. And then you just mix it together or suddenly people is dancing like crazy and then boom, hip hop came, you know, it's like, what? What's going on here? You know, you kill the mood, man. This is my advice to you. Try to have, if you're working for the laptop, try to have a second laptop. All right. So like this, if you play in, in the first laptop for one of you right away, this is uh, whatever uh, software you're using. I use Serato DJ Pro. Actually, for me, is the best, I think, for most of the DJs. But if you use a uh, virtual DJ or any other uh, software, you know, the second laptop, you're going to put it for the song request only, which is the sources I told you about before. So like this, you can connect both. To the controller if you have you know a bigger controller then you can just connect both to the controller with different channel if it's for a channel so that's what i do i make two channels for my dg software and the other two channels i make it for uh the song request all right if you don't have a big controller okay now you're still in the beginning you know in the you don't have those kind of equipment yet I recommend you guys to get a mixer. It doesn't have to be a uh, 6, 8, 10, 15 channels mixer. Uh, if you don't have, you know, the money uh, to spend now, just get at least two to four channel. You know, four channel is better than two. You have to know when more channels go up, it will be uh, much better for you. But four channels will actually definitely do the work so if you have a mixer like i have my mixer right here you know this one i connect everything my mics my uh, my uh, dj controller uh you know the dj controller is connecting to the laptop and the laptop eh, i mean the laptop is connecting to the dj controller the dj controller connected connecting to the to the mixer right and like this, I can play a song request, you know, without I get confused or the sound will drop or something like that. Because sometimes, you know, you will see that, you know, try it home before you go to the event. If you're playing in your software and then you play in the other two channels, a uh, song request, probably the song uh, you played from the other laptop or from different you know like let's say youtube or whatever you know the sound will be i think less or maybe it's louder i don't remember but i think it's less sound than the software so you have to adjust that so the good about the mixer it will adjust this for you automatic you don't have to do a lot of work 
Okay, let's move now to the second topic, which is how to deal with the music request. So when they come to you, hey DJ, can you play this song? You know, please. This one, he asks you really nicely. You accept, yes, you accept song request. So if it's the time, you're gonna try to, if you have a partner, let him hear the song. If you already know the song by the name of the artist and you already know, oh yeah, it will fit whatever I'm playing now will fit the mood, then you will tell him, oh yeah, for sure, yeah, I'm gonna just play it right now. Or the next song, or the next two, after the next two songs, I will play it for you, okay? He will be super happy over here, you know, to hear something like that. Does you accept the song request, all right? What about now, the same person came nicely, you know, and they come to you and they ask you, uh, uh, of course, can you play this song for me, you know? But the song, let's say now you're playing like uh, dancing, uh, you know, uh, music. And then he came to you with a nice song, but it's gonna slow the mood. So if you wanna accept it again, then you tell him, oh yes, for sure, but you know, uh, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna play right now. I'm just waiting for the good time to fit it in my uh, songs or my music or in about the mood. You know what I mean? To just, you can explain this quickly, quickly to him. You're not gonna go here and there and take time from you because you're gonna be busy with whatever another you do. one will come to you he's a little bit mean you know he's gonna come to you hey dj i want to play this music just right now this song right just right now I, I really want it now now okay so what are you gonna do you say yeah okay sure sure don't worry about it i'll play it that's it Say okay. Okay is a really nice word, by the way. For sure. Yes, I will play it. Then it's up to you. If it's fit, I mean, if it's a fit, you know, the atmosphere and the mood with the other and it match with the other songs you're playing, then you will play it for him or for her right away. Right? But if it doesn't, just tell him okay, okay. He's not going to be right next to you. Right? If he's right next to you, you tell him, you know, uh, Try to say, you know, I'm sorry, but I don't, you know, I, I got confused or not really focused if someone next to my DJ booth. Uh, just have a seat and I will play it for you. If it doesn't match the songs or, you know, the music you're playing now, of course, you're going to delay that. He's going to come back to you because he's mean. He's going to come back to you. Oh, man, I told you to play this song. I didn't play it. What's, what's wrong with you? It's like coming... Almost is gonna fight with you. Damn! What are you gonna do, man? Then you can start be nice. You cannot be, you know, rude to the people. You're gonna be rude, but I'm gonna talk about this later. But talk to him nicely. He say, hey, okay, listen, man. Uh, I understand that you really like this song, but it doesn't fit right now um, the mood or the music I'm playing. I promise you, I will play it later i'll play it after dinner i'll play it whatever you know what i mean but you have to wait i so sorry i cannot play it right now simple as that right if he came a third time and he's coming to fight with you then you tell him just like i'll do that actually you tell him you know what i'm sorry man but at this time i don't accept no song requests that's all because it's so mean so what do you want me to do i'm not gonna kill the mood because one guest you cannot do that, right? Who hire you here? The guest? No, no. He didn't hire you, it's, he's just a guest. He's invited to the party, right? So you have to remember that. Whoever hire you, don't, even the bride and groom, if they come and tell you I wanna play this, of course you have to be super, 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 super duper nice with them, you know what I mean? But if you explain to them that this is gonna kill your wedding or you're gonna kill the mood or it's not good, you know, for the people is dancing or the guests, you know, they will understand, they definitely will understand, you know, because they know you, kind know your personality before even they poked you, you know? 
so they're not gonna go argument with you plus they always busy you know with the guests with the dancing with whatever you know so they're not gonna you know take time with you for anything okay what about now if you got a drunk guest and he wanna play also he wanna request a song right it happens what are you gonna do with the drunk guest for me it's still a person it's still a guest you know he's just drunk which you know it's, it's not bad you know it's okay if he's too drunk you know sometimes this is go with the crazy situations but that's okay you know accept the song request like i said again if it's fit just put it on if not you explain to him probably he's not gonna understand okay and you tell him just for later i'm gonna play it but later uh 90 he's gonna go to his table sit down and he'll never gonna come back to you because he already drunk so you're really gonna forget that he even came to you and ask you for to play a song for him or for the other people you know what i mean so you don't have to be worried too much about the drunk people you know you can say whatever you want to them like i say as a dj and the people hire you for a private event you 99 percent you try to be nice or you have to be nice you know because they hire you for that so you have to be nice and like i say if you can play the song just play the song right it's not gonna hurt you so even if it's someone is drunk what about if he's drunk but he's so mean he's drunk and he came behind the dg booth and he really want you to play the song right now you know and the song if like again that song get fit it will okay it doesn't fit then what you gonna do you're gonna push him you're gonna fight with him no first word you have to say yes man sure i will play it for you he's gonna tell you oh no 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 i want to play it just right now please please just just play it right now play it right now just stop this music and play the, uh, my my song right now say okay i will play it don't worry about it just have a seat i will play it he's not gonna have a seat he's still gonna be right next to you at this point then you have to be start be rude to him or to her right because uh you're not gonna kill the the mood or kill the the, the or uh, destroy you know whatever are you doing or the atmosphere or the party because one drunk person there's no way what about if you are in 300 400 guests you know at the party for one person you just gonna you know destroy that no 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 <laughs> can be <laughs> okay so you have to uh, if you have a partner uh, then he might gonna go to whoever poked you and tell them you know this person start bothering the dj and if you can just talk to him and just put him away from the dj if you are the dj you don't have a partner which is i don't recommend that you should have a partner just someone person not i don't mean partner like someone to play with you you know on the controller or music you know i need someone just to be right next to you for any situations good or bad or you wanna you know um uh you forget something so he can grab it you know to you or something like that listen guys assistant partner with you is very 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 important you know even in the club if you are a club dj you see all the time this friends or someone right next to the dj just in case if the dj get thirsty want to drink a water oh can you please go grab my water yes you're not gonna leave the music and go grab your water and come back that's not gonna happen you know so partner or assistant with you it's really really important anyway let's go back again to this mean bad drunk guest if you go if you if you start complaining about him to the bride and groom or the bride and try to don't bother the bride and groom that much sometimes you know they have a friend coordinator or you can go straight uh, to the venue coordinator if it's a lot a lot of people a lot of guests you know in the venue probably i'm sure 100 percent they have event uh, planner or uh, event or uh, venue coordinator 
So you go straight to the coordinator and explain to him or to her, oh, sorry, this guy started bothering me too much for a song request. You know, I would say I played for him, but not at this time, but he's still right next to me and I cannot focus and I cannot deal with him. It seemed like he wanna fight or something like that. Talk about the girls who love DJ and love to be right next to the DJ and behind the DJ booth. They wanna take picture with the DJ. Even sometimes maybe the DJ is ugly, so you throw them away, you know, and they wanna take a picture. Uh, it seemed like, you know, they put the headphone and they wanna take a picture like they playing, you know, in the controller behind the DJ booth. What about those drunk girls? What are you gonna do? You know, they came with you with, oof, uh, nice hot girls, you know, and nice shirt, skirt, whatever. They are hot, like, woo. Okay? So I'm sure, you know, of course, I talk about uh, not ladies DJ, I talk about now the, you know, uh, men DJ. So. <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what you're gonna act you know some some everybody have different personality right so maybe other DJs they will be super happy and they say oh yeah sure yeah come and take pictures you know right next to me yes why not you know and some other DJs uh, yeah I, they like girls and everything you know but they don't want them to be next to the equipment they don't want them to be the behind the DJ booth because he's focused with the music he don't want to make any mistake or chance to make a mistake if it's especially if it's a wedding you cannot take no, no chance of mistake guys okay so crazy situation you know right so are you gonna what are you gonna do you're gonna tell her you know just be away no you know don't touch my equipment you cannot be here actually yes you can say that if you want them to be, if a girl, okay, let's put it now, you know, imagine this together. Okay, so one beautiful, hot, hot, hot girl came behind the DJ booth, came next to you. Maybe she want to take a quick picture. That's fine, you know, but sometimes girls, they just want to be standing ne next to the DJ, you know, while he playing all the time for like, you know, three four five hours you know believe it or not uh, yes yes it happens sometimes you know so what are you gonna do uh my advice to you in the first seconds like 30 seconds wherever you know you ask it oh if you want to take a picture you know or uh, hi you know whatever you know you want to say to her just be nice for the beginning like 30 seconds or something like that but in then if you see her very, very, very drunk, then you try to tell her, you know, nicely, oh, please, you know, because I'm focused with my music and so busy right here and you cannot be behind the DJ booth. So just please have a seat. And some other girls, they, you know, they probably, uh, you, you see, you say nicely, right? But they're going to take it in a bad way. They say, oh, yeah. This DJ is not nice. He's not fun a DJ. He's not fun a DJ. Uh, yes, I'm okay if she says something like that. I'm okay. You know, it's much better than to do a mistake. It's much better than to other people, other guests, you know, they hear the music and then you did something wrong or, you know, you miss uh, mixing a songs or something like that. It will be so bad, right? A lot of people, they sitting, they just hear the music or dancing to the big sound from the coming from the loudspeaker, right? Sometimes they don't even, you know, look into you or pay attention to what's going on behind the DJ booth, <laughs> okay? So, that's okay. But if they're dancing and then you miss mixing or you make a mistake, everybody going to start looking to you. Why? Because you have a girl, it messed up your music it must have your work my advice to you guys just from the beginning you know any drunk girls do you want to be next to the dj just from the beginning just just be like that oh i'm sorry i'm sorry ma'am i'm sorry you know beautiful girl uh you cannot 
be in this area you cannot be behind the DJ booth or next to the DJ while he's playing uh, dinner time or after he's playing or whatever you know yes you can just you know uh, came uh, take a picture with him whatever you know you want but while he's playing no 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 do not accept that guys think about it what about now you accept that first one is gonna come next to you then if you accept the first one there's another one is gonna come there's a third one is gonna come you will see a bunch of girls around you how are you gonna focus for me i'll never gonna focus <laughs> i'll be honest with you you know if it's a hot girl next to me no i don't think so you gotta focus <laughs> Plus, don't forget something, they are drunk. If they have it, definitely, if they have a drink in the hand, they never, never, ever allow them to be next to your equipment or next to your mixer or your controller. Because easily, they can just, when they talk, they just have, you know, the drink in the hand and then suddenly, boom, it's spilled in your mixer. Wow, that's so bad. Don't even take a chance, guy. Okay. So if it's, if, if it's no drink, there's a big chance she's going to come, you know, maybe she will ask you, oh, can I touch, you know, the controller or can I touch, oh, what is this, what is this, she's going to start touching, 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 you know, of course, you're not going to allow her to do that, but I don't take a chance from the beginning, because I know she's drunk, she's not really uh, understand or focus or, you know, know what she's doing, you know what I mean? So she's going to come and suddenly ch touch, boom, the controller. Touch the volume, touch whatever, anything, you know, in the mixer. Oh, wow. You kidding me? Wow. Imagine this will happen to you guys. So from the beginning, my advice to you, do not try to not anybody. Actually, I, I don't really agree with anybody drunk or not drunk to be behind the DJ booth. You know, you have your facade, they can talk to you, you know, through this facade and the other side, or they, if the facade have like a side corner, then they can come from the corner and they can just talk with you from the side or talk to your partner. That's why I say it's very important to have a partner with you. At the end of this video, the question now, should I accept a song request? Yes or no? If you are a club DJ and busy club DJ, no. Just you can accept only uh, uh, if it's a Thursday party for someone, you know, you can just put the uh, music, the Thursday song and just say uh, his name or her name. If you are a club DJ, especially if you are a busy club. If it's a private event, yes, definitely you have to accept a song request. You know, maybe it's hard for you in the beginning. Try to teach yourself how to do it, you know, in your studio, on your home. You should accept it 100%. Yes, accept the song request, guys. Because this will bring you actually more job, more work, more gigs, more events. When the people see the DJ is really nice and accept requests, yes. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. If you say no from the beginning or in a mean way always try to don't be mean with even the guests of course so uh they're probably gonna say um you know what i want dj this dj he's playing good music but he don't accept the song request what about my people my family my friends they wanna you know hear songs or they wanna request the songs and he's gonna say no to them so they're not gonna punk you they're not gonna hire you okay so very important, yes, accept it. I want to talk about uh, this one very, very quick. I will talk about it, okay? Just very important tips. I think it's going to be for everybody. Uh, one last song. One last song when the, you are in the event and it's not going to happen in the club. It's going to happen in the private events only. So one last song. How are you going to deal with one last song? The people, they're going to come to you or whatever, they're dancing, they're so happy with your music, you know, and everybody's like, they don't want to go home. They don't want to go home. This happened a lot. So, okay, fine, you know. Then one last song, one last song, one last song. How are you going to play one last song? It's not going to be last song, <laughs> you know. How many songs will be last? 
So, yeah, one last song accepted. Say yes, of course, why not, you know? And then after one last song, they another one last song. Yes, okay, no problem. They are happy, guys. Come on, you know. What's gonna hate you if you play, you know, for five, ten minutes more? It's not gonna hurt you, you know. Just, just, just play. It. It's okay. One last song, one last song. Fine, as long as you guys happy, you know. And like this, also don't forget, when they see you very flexible like that, they will need you again and again and again. Yes. What about now? One last song will never finish. It never ends. One last song. What you gonna do? Hmm. You have to finish, you have to go home, <laughs> no matter what, you're tired, I understand that. Okay, then you're gonna announce it's really gonna be a last song, okay? Try to put the mood down. If it's a venue, put the lights on. Put your disco light or DJ lights off. Put your volume down. If you keep the volume up, they're never gonna stop dancing and you want more and more, you know what I mean? Because they hear the music loud, they hear the beats, you know, everything. Put it down. Put the music down. And then, before the end of the, the music, you know, to, the music will finish. Just, that's it. Just announce, guys. Boom. Have a good night. Drive safe home, whatever you want to say. Shut it down completely. One last song after this one. I'm so sorry. I already shut down the equipment. All right. That's it. This is very important. What about now if it's the venue? One last song, one last song, one last song. And then the venue, the coordinator, you know, for the venue, they're going to call me say, oh, mm, it's 10 o'clock. It's time to go. I'm sorry. I, I, you cannot play any other music. Should you listen to, you know, hear him or the, you know, uh, yes and no. I'm not gonna listen. You know, who hired me? Who hired me? Right? You didn't hire me. Come on. You didn't pay me for that. You're not gonna tell me. You know, this will be really my last song because the time, whatever. No, I'm not going to ignore that. I'm so sorry. You know, I I need my guests, my people, whoever poked me, you'd be super duper happy. They're still dancing. I'm not going to say this. I'm going to say no. And then I keep playing for another one hour. I didn't say that. But what's going to hurt for five more minutes or one last song? Let's talk about really one last song. How long is going to be the song? Two minutes? Three minutes? Even if more than three minutes, the people, they're going to feel bored if they hear the same song for three minutes. You know what I mean? So let's say about two to three minutes. It's not going to hurt the venue. It's not going to hurt the coordinator. It's not going to hurt the time for two minutes. There's no way. You're still going to have about 45 minutes to one hour to tear down your equipment and put it in your vehicle and go home. Right? So, no matter what, these two minutes is not going to hurt, you know. So, if the coordinator comes to you and she said, you know, oh, I'm sorry, you cannot, you cannot accept no more songs. There's no last song. There's no last song. Just like that. And if she's so mean, and definitely I'm going to be more mean than her and tell her, you know what? Okay. Just let her go. And I'll keep playing. And you know what? If she's so mean, I'm not going to play only one music, one last song. I'm going to play at least like five, ten last song. Finish. Done. Okay. I'm not going to say one last word. <laughs> uh, guys, I really, 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 really thank you so much for watching. And of course, you have to subscribe, man. Just, just subscribe. Just right here. Like, subscribe, and hit the not notification button so you can get all upcoming videos. All right, and always remind me when I say notification buttons because I always forget. Please, guys, remind me. But before that, just hit subscribe right now. Come on, support our channel. Let's go up, guys. Let's do it more and more and more. Okay, thank you guys again for watching, and see you next Tuesday. Bye bye.